Okay, on this problem it says approximately 2% of women aged 40 to 50 have breast cancer. A woman has an 86% chance of a positive test from a mammogram given she has breast cancer. That's called a true positive result. A woman has a 6% chance of a positive test from a mammogram given she does not have breast cancer. That's called a false positive result. And so from this, we're supposed to complete this table and do the, uh, the question at the bottom of it. On these problems, you have to make up this table. You will not get this question right unless you make up this table. Some problems don't have you make up the table. They just go straight for, for the final answer on something. You still have to make up the table. That's, you will not get it without doing that. So let's go ahead and do that. I have B for breast cancer. B with a hash mark means not breast cancer. Positive result here and not a positive result, or in other words, a negative result right here. And you have to keep track of your totals. Do this for sure. We are given in the problem that the probability that a woman has breast cancer is a 2% chance. That's the same as 0.02. You put your probability of breast cancer right here. Here's the total probability of breast cancer, 2%. Right after that, if we know the probability of breast cancer is 2%, then the probability of not having breast cancer is 1 minus that. 1 minus 2% is 98%, and that's right here. These two have to add up to 100%, and they do. Okay? Now, we've got to fill in some of these other blanks in here. For example, to get this blank right here, this is the probability of breast cancer and a positive result. We can get the probability of breast cancer and a positive result by multiplying these two things together, by multiplying the probability of breast cancer times the probability of a positive result given breast cancer. These are number one and three. That's these two things here that I, that I have listed right here. Okay? So you multiply these to, together and you get this value. So the value right here is uh, 0 0.0172. Now the nice thing is is that using these two right here, the probability of not having breast cancer and the probability of a positive result given not breast cancer, if we multiply these two together, which I have right here, I can get the probability of not breast cancer and a positive result. So multiply these two together and you get this answer right here, 0 0.0588. Now you can get the probability of a positive result then by adding these two together. So if you take this and this and add it together, and I have that right here, if you add those two together, you'll get 0 0.076. Okay? Now, we can fill in some of the blanks on this problem, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So, for example, you can just fill in, for example, this one is 0.02. This one is 0.98. And I'm going to show you what you can do with some of these here that will help you out. This one right here is uh, 0 0.0172. And this one right here is uh, uh, 0 0.0588. Now down here, if you don't have a calculator, or even if you do have a calculator, what you can do is just copy and paste these in here. So you can do Control C and paste that in and just say plus. If you don't feel like copying it and pasting it, you can just type it in. So I'll do 0 .0588 and you'll see that it gives you the total right there, 0 .076. If you need to fill in the rest of this table, you can get it by subtracting. Like for example, this total going across here on the breast cancer bit is 2%. This bit right here in the table is 0 0.0172. So to get this, we just subtract. We take the 0.02 and we subtract off the 0 0.0172. And it's much nicer to do it right here. You get ex super exact answers and you don't have to uh, worry about typos or whatever from, from doing it on a calculator and retyping it. Same way down here, you can just take your 0.98 and subtract off your uh, 0.0588. And then to get this total, we would just add these two together. So I could take my 0 0.0028. And again, don't round these too much. I don't worry about that four clear out there. But I would take the 0 0.0028 and add on the 0 0.9212, 0 0.9212.
So that's the whole table filled out. And then the last question that it says here is, what is the probability a woman has breast cancer given that she, uh, that she just had a positive result? So for this problem, we're clear over here. So this, this right here means the probability of breast cancer given that she had a positive result. So to get that, I got to take this row <laughs> over here, this one, and divide that by the total right here. Probability of breast cancer given it's out of the positive result. So I have to divide these two. So right here, I have to take that bit divided by that bit. And if you do that, you'll get this answer right here. So the probability, and, and this is actually true in real life, the probability that a woman has breast cancer, given that she had a positive a result on a mammogram, it's even less than 22%. It's really like about only an 8% chance that that happens. And a lot of people, including doctors, thinks it's a 50-50 chance. It isn't. It's clear down to really in real life, like about an 8% chance. But on this problem, that's what it is right there. And that should help you with that problem.